Spencer Bickett here with the Brainerd Dispatch at the Evergreen Cemetery landing on the mighty Mississippi River in Brainerd. Um, we are here for a community paddle as part of Brainerd History Week. Um, local amateur historian Carl Faust is going to lead a group of looks about 50 or 60 people on kayaks and canoes down the Mississippi River. So I'm here with Carl Faust before the community paddle for Brainerd History Week. Carl is going to be, well, how exactly are you going to be doing this, Carl? Well, when this first started, Holly says, um, we're going to do a community paddle, and she wanted to know if I had any history on the river. I went, ooh. <laughs> so about five years ago, I did make my own version of kind of a historical tour down the river, and starting at the paper mill or in the dam and working down, and I tried to point out anything that Mother Nature didn't put here. And I mean right down to a storm culvert that's coming into the river and a few things where the old ravine creek went through. I'll show them where that used to go. Right now it goes through this thing here. So I just thought, to me, it's kind of a historical tour. And it's probably historical because it's the first historical tour down the river that I know of. There's also a lot of um, navigational hazards on the river. Anyway, I'm going to point those out. And a lot of those are pilings from 1871. Some are cribs that were filled with rocks. And at some point, I'd like to actually map that, you know, for future, future navigation. And we're finally finding out that we have a river here, and it is navigable. So I'd like to do that. And then there's a few things we found, for instance, the old steamboat landing and where the ferry landing was. And we found evidence in the river in the way of pilings. So I'll point those out as well. Yeah, and you know, you mentioned the pilings and the steamboat landings. Those are things you talked about on the Riverview tour on tour on Tuesday. I think it's going to be cool to get a real up close look at those. The things we really couldn't see that well from the shore. That's correct. And then there's a few things that we, as researchers, such as as we are, we can't even identify. For instance, there's a grouping of pilings that are in kind of a crescent shape, and they jut out into the river. And we've been working on that for about five years, trying to figure out what in the world they were. And they're in the neighborhood of the railroad bridge, so we don't know if it had to do with the 1875 bridge collapse or if it was something more modern. And we're going through old newspapers and such to try to find that out. But sometimes you have to get out of the newspaper and out of the museum and into the field and look for old cables and trees and things like that. And that's where we're getting our clues. So it's really fun to be right on the river, you know, kind of like it was back in 1870-71. So you've used to giving a lot of walking tours in the area. Is this the first time you're going to be doing a tour on the river? This will be the first time. And I can tell you right now, um, everyone's going to get a real enjoyment of seeing the 1932 Washington Street Bridge because the only way you can get that view of that wonderful Art Deco looking bridge is from the water and you really can't access it you know by walking under the bridge you just can't get there from here so we're gonna have a wonderful view so I so hope somebody brought a, a, a camera along I did not. Thanks Carl.